Different type of video today. Little slower pace than my normal ones, but that's all right. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys take a peek into my treasure. Uh, all the cool stuff I've collected over the years. All right, who wants to see what's inside? Oh! <laughs> this is all the best stuff. We're gonna go through that at last. <laughs> but, this is kind of the dumpster. <laughs> um, they're all, I mean, it might just be junk to you, but uh, I'm sure all every one of you has a little bit of a treasure hoard. I don't really have a good place to, to display everything at the moment, so it just gets dropped in here. Uh, geez. Let's see. All right, my car collection. <laughs> oh, and a motorcycle. It's always cool. A little micro machine. I haven't seen one of these since I was like 10. There's just so much stuff in here. I found tons. Well, not tons. I think I have five of these. Um, I think they're for Boy Scouts or Cub Scouts or something. Uh, let's see. And these were all found in different spots, too. Okay, got a bunch of them. There's another one. I think they're these were supposed to be to used to hold the a tie on or something. A, a neckerchief, maybe. I think that's what somebody told me, and each one resembles like a different uh a different rank in Cub Scouts or Boy Scouts or I don't know, I was never in Cub Scouts or Boy Scouts, so if somebody knows, let me know. <laughs> And what else is in here? Hey, there's that, there's the smelly locket if you saw my other video. We're not gonna open that up again. Got Iron Man, lots of bullets. There's a corner of just fishing weights. Of course, there's always keys. Tons of keys. I don't know why I save them, but it's treasure to me, so I save everything. Uh, we got some big hoop earrings. They're all tangled. And I found this in a park here in Denver. A live hollow point round. I probably shouldn't have that in there with the... Oh, look, there's another one. Two. Or no, this one's not a hollow point. <laughs> oh, it's a weird thing to find in parks, but I find them all the time. Another earring this is actually a silver earring um something on there is stamped let's see let's see if... this earring i think is just plated because it's like flaking off but it is stamped what else is in here got my dice I guess this was off the front of a scooter. I don't even know why I saved it. <laughs> I just, I'm a hoarder when it comes to treasure. If I dig it out of the ground, it just instantly becomes treasure and I save it. So many keys. My key collection is growing. Every time I go out, I get some more keys. Uh, you guys just saw me dig this out of the ground. Just got thrown in here with all the rest of the stuff. This was from my last video. A little religious pendant thing. Um, what is this? Oh, this is another belly button ring that I found years ago. There's another piece of it. There it is. So this... is a belly button ring that I found forever ago, but it's a little little giraffe. I didn't break it. I found both pieces of it. What else is in here? I always find these crushed pennies. People always lose these things. I found this when I first started metal detecting when I was like, geez. 
I was probably like 16 or 17. I've had it ever since. It's not precious metal or anything, but it was just an awesome find. This was under a swing set at an elementary school. <laughs> I found this uh, a couple months ago at a Denver park. It's a little, uh, I think it's a religious thing. May your garden angel watch over you. It's a pretty cool thing to find. What else do we got in here? What is this? I don't even remember. A little rabbit. <laughs> uh, I found this years ago too. Uh, with my Garrett Ace 250. I'm sure most of you have saved some of the stuff you found out of the ground. And if you were to grab it, you remember ever. I remember where all of this stuff came out of the ground at. <laughs> this, uh, it's a cool arrowhead, like, necklace pendant thing. I don't think any of it's, I don't think it's precious metal. It's just really cool. It's got some, like, turquoise color. But, yeah, I just got all kinds of random stuff in here. Whole corner of sinkers. This, I just saved this because I found it on the ground and it was cool. <laughs> All right, let's put all this away and get on to the good stuff. The real, the stuff I know you guys want to see more than this junk. <laughs> let's uh, start with these coins. I have so many random, there's a lot of randomness in here. Well, this guy, I found this in a soccer field, right in the middle. Maybe they used it to like flip but um, it's all nasty. I clean it the best I could, but they use fertilizer in the fields and like a big coin like this, it stains it all brown and you're left with these weird marks. I don't, um, I haven't really ever tried to clean any of the coins. If any of you guys knows a good way to clean them. This one's not silver, so I wouldn't care about just throwing it in a tumbler. No cash value, car wash token. There's a few of those in here. I found this in a little kid's tot lot and I freaked out because I saw that gold sticking out. But it's just uh, Red Rocks is a, a big amphitheater here in Colorado uh, where they have music and stuff. And apparently a kid had this coin and dropped it in the park. <laughs> it's really heavy. Um, I found at least two of these old like Japanese coins or Asian or what, wherever it's from. Uh, it's really old and worn down. And I have no idea what that says. I tried to Google it, but I, no luck. Maybe it's worth something and I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I've got something worth money here. What's this guy? United States of America dollar. Oh, it's a Sacagawea. Got a few dollars in here. There's another one. I found this a, a couple videos back. At one penny. I'm not sure where this is from, but it's cool. This one coin I found in an elementary school that's apparently go... We dig it. Uh, knew exactly what this was. This is around his neck of the woods. But I'd never seen one before, so... It's cool. What can I buy with this? We dig it. <laughs> this is just a copper penny. Or no, it's a weedy. Not a copper. What year is this? Wheat penny. 1944. Euros, euros. Euros, euros. What is this? Not 20 pence. All right, on to the next things. Uh, let's see. These are, I think these are all necklaces and stuff. Those things that I found. Found this uh, at another park. BFF unicorn. Where's I know it says it. Yeah, BFF unicorn. <laughs> this one's got uh, some random stuff in it. You just saw me dig this up. This, I believe, is silver. It's just stamped, A, the letter A. Um, but it's, it, 
it looks silver. It was dark when I dug it out of the ground and it cleaned up really good. But it looks like someone pressed it themselves. It's really cool. I don't, I don't know anything else about it. You just saw this. I found this, I found this in a park by a horseshoe pit, a little door, but it's a, uh, it's pewter. And someone linked to me, it, it's a, used to be a pin. But it's like this little pewter door with a whole scene inside. My little Egyptian pendant thing, it spells out Shannon. All right, on to the rings. I believe I'm at 36 or 37 rings um, in my collection. Lots of blingers. This is not all precious metal stuff here. Some of these are just uh, dollar store rings, but they all go into my collection because I think they're all equally cool. <laughs> all right. This top two rows, top three rows are just bling, blingers. Nothing special. Uh, they're special to me, but you know, nothing super cool about them. This one, I remember when I dug it out of the ground, all I saw was this. And so, you know that feeling. When you see, <laughs> when you see that sticking out of the ground, you poop your pants a little bit. Safety pin, geez, one of the pins. This, this is a ring, but it has like a safety pin shape on it. Tree of Life ring. Snake ring. This is one of my favorites. What else? I just found this one at a... Whoops. <laughs> I just found this one at a park um, last weekend, like two days ago. What else? I uh, found this one in Michigan. Digging with my uncle. These Tube 27 Check out his channel. What is this one? Peace. This was in one of my last couple videos. This is a blinger, but I found this diving in Michigan too. Um, all of these are silver. Everything on this bottom row and this, these are all silver rings I've found. Two little hearts. This one I found at a school. It's um, it's pretty old. It's it's just It just says Sterling inside. Got this treble clef ring. It was all it was completely smashed when I dug it out of the ground. I didn't even know it was a ring. Got a silver wave ring. Mex stamped Mexico 925. This like belt buckle ring. All right, here's my two tungsten ring finds. I just found this one. If you guys saw my video a couple weeks ago, you would have seen me dig this out of the ground. This guy. I found in Michigan again with these two, 27. Check out his channel. You're gonna see me, <laughs> probably. All of these are just bling rings. Bling, 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 bling. This one I found in a park here in Colorado. My very first hole. That never happens ever. You guys gonna see it. 925 Israel. This is one of my favorite finds ever. It's so heavy. This is a silver spoon ring. But uh, I found this years ago at 11 Mile Reservoir here in Colorado. And of course, oh, all of the change that you see me dig out of the ground has to go somewhere. Every coin I dig out of the ground clad is going in here and I'm gonna do an end of the year count. But I'll do some sort of giveaway at the end of the year. Uh, whoever can guess how much I got out of the ground. I will see you guys next week. Peace.